guest for y'all. And before I introduce him, if you guys are watching on the Replay Squad, hashtag Replay Squad it up in the comment section down below. And if you guys are watching live on the Live Squad with me, you know what to do. Hashtag Live Squad in the comment section down below. So. Who is our special guest today? No, it is not her, although Caitlin is a special guest. It is my awesome client, Glenn Williams, all right? And I think Glenn is hopping on here now. Glenn, what is up, brother? Glenn, I need you to be on your phone. Unfortunately, the desktop does not work. Glenn, I need you to be on your phone and then I can get you in here, but I'll do an awesome introduction for you as you get on your phone. So. Glenn, super awesome guy. He's a real estate investor. He's 49 years old. He's lost 20. I think he's lost. Oh, Glenn wants to be in your video. Here we go. Live squad as we get Glenn in here. Give us a hashtag live squad. Let me know that you're watching. Glenn. There we what go. What is up, bro? How are we doing? Doing good. This, this, uh, having to use the phone, that kind of sucks, but I was okay. Oh, come on, bro. Out. Come on, man. It's 2019, Glenn. <laughs> no, you'll be good. You'll be good. So, Glenn, I was going to do an introduction for you, but, I mean, I think you could do a better introduction for yourself than I could do for you. So what I want you to start off with is tell the people what you do and a little bit about yourself. Well, I run a uh, real estate investing company here in uh, the Twin Cities in Minnesota, Minneapolis, St. Paul area. I've uh, been doing that for quite a while. I, uh, hey, my friend Jody's on. That's nice to see. Awesome. What's up, Jody? Uh, um, I do that. I've lived here in the metro area my whole whole life, done a whole bunch of real estate stuff, paid a lot of attention to my business recently, and just finally got uh, decided to take care of my fitness to the same uh, with the same diligence and work that I'm putting towards the business. So you yes. and I connected about four months ago, and it's like, well, made made a huge difference so far for me. Absolutely. Yeah. And we'll dive into that a little bit more. So Glenn and I have been working together for four months, like you said now. And Glenn, tell the people how much weight you've lost so far. I'm down uh, right about 27 pounds so far. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I love it, brother. 27 pounds down in four months. That is great. And now we've done tons of lives together talking about those results, the health results. But what I want to spend today talking about, because I know a lot of my my uh, viewers here, they're interested in about growing their revenue, right? And in 2019, you decided to grow your health and also your wealth simultaneously, and you've had your best financial year to date. So I want to preface this by saying, and I'm, once again, I'm not saying you're old, right? But at age 49, <laughs> a lot of people are afraid to make change because they, they've been stuck in their ways. They've lived life a certain way. That's what they know, and they don't want to change it. So my first question to you is, what inspired you to change your health at age 49? Um, well, I just got to a point where I really started to uh, feel the extra weight, feel the extra um, challenges that come with getting older and not being fit and carrying a lot around a lot of extra weight for years or decades, uh, mm -hmm. more than you, more than you should be carrying around. <laughs> Jody uh, says you're kind of old. <laughs> I, I know she's older than me though, so that's okay. <laughs> um, Sorry, Jody. But, but, but just but just all of that going on, and you know what? It's uh, it started getting hard, and I mean there were things I felt like I wanted to do and and uh, adventures I wanted to take and activities I wanted to partake in. And it was becoming a major challenge for me to do so. And I, I realized just how bad a shape I had gotten in and decided that, you know what, it, it doesn't get easier from now going forward. I mean, mm. it's, it's the, the best time to make changes now. So I just mm. kind of made a decision and said, you know what, I've been, I've been at this weight I mean, I was up to like 283 and I was at that weight for a few years straight. It's like, that was, that was like the lowest I've been in that ballpark for three years. And it's like, not acceptable time, time to make the adjustment on the time to commit. And, actually, and then you find uh, crazy old me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you and I connected and I'm just like, who's this, who's this kid? I've been investing <laughs> long. I've I've been investing longer than Chad's been alive. So yeah, that's true. Twenty three years. Twenty three years going strong. Almost twenty four. I'll be twenty four in July. So I'm getting up there I've in been, age. I've bro. been investing twenty four years. So there you go. Wow, that's crazy. That really is crazy. So 
I got to ask you this, right? So I'm assuming, right? Because you said you, you started building weight uh, over the course of time. I'm assuming during that time, your main focus was money and growing your business, correct? Uh, that was that was a lot of it. Yeah. I mean, I, I wasn't paying attention to the health aspect. I was paying attention to the business part, the money part, uh, things of that nature. Um, mm. Other aspects of my life, which were important to me and, and I did some focus on that, but I never fully committed. I never fully committed over a long haul towards any of the health stuff. I mean, I'd, I'd work it hard for a month, two months, three months, something like that. And then uh, fall off. And you know what, over the next uh, six to 12 months, I regain all the weight that I just lost. So uh, <laughs> it, it was always a short, it was always a short term unsustainable push. And then right. uh, fall and that's back why you're in the year long program. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And that's why you joined the year long program. But where I'm going with this is, you were gaining weight and you weren't seeing the best results in your business. And now you're losing weight and you've had your best financial year ever and you've been investing for 24 freaking years. So from me, from my perspective, that doesn't seem like a coincidence to me. And, and, and I know because we've talked about this, you don't think it's a coincidence either. So I got to ask, how do you think taking control of your health and fitness has allowed you to have your best financial year ever? Well, it, it winds up being a lot of the a lot of the whole situation of diligence and uh, discipline in one area easily transitions over to, into something else. You get better with your health. What do you have to do to get better with your health? Some of it is your time management. Okay, so you're managing your time better there. You're going to manage your time better elsewhere. You're in better health. You're in better spirits. You're eating better, feeling better. You're sleeping better, everything like that. You're more effective, more efficient, able to uh, able to do what you need to do in your business, in your day-to-day -day activities, that's going to lead to better results over time also. So it's just mm -hmm. making a little change here, even though it, it, it may look somewhat in inconsequential, but being disciplined and deciding to do it and committing to it, just that act changes your brain. Mm, absolutely. And yeah, one of our uh, more recent clients and members of the Health and Well Blueprint, Jay Girardi, who just signed on this past week, said that he's closed more deals this week than he ever has before. And he just got his workout program yesterday. So literally, like you just said, just making that investment is literally just a change in your mind of, okay, I'm now taking control of myself. And then it just shows up in all areas of your life. So then something I hear a lot, Glenn, is um, I don't have time to take control of my health, right? And clearly, obviously, you're in real estate investing. It's a busy ass. It's very, it's very time consuming. And um, now you're taking control of your health. You're down 27 pounds. You're making more money than you've ever made before. What would you tell somebody that says that they don't have time for both? Well, I mean, the, if, if you don't have time for your health now, there's a time that your health is going to force you to make time for it because mm. you're in health. And, um, and it's, it's an investment, just like, I mean, in the real estate investing business, a lot of it is marketing. You're spending money planning on getting a return on it. Well, you're investing in your health, too. You're, you're investing time, money, energy into that with the idea you're going to get a result out of it. And if mm. you do it and commit, you are going to get a result out of it. Yes, that is so true. And um, it's kind of cool that you said that because... I mean, once again, you're not old, right? You're 49. <laughs> but a lot of the younger people think that they have time. They'll be like, oh, I could do health. I could do that in 10 years from now, like if they're like 30 years old, right? But you, once again, not making fun of your age, waited a little longer, right? You waited to the, get to that point where it's like, okay, I'm 283 pounds. Like how much further am I going to let this go until I make a change? So I think it's kind of cool that you could also speak to people that are much younger, to, younger than you and let them know like, Hey, no, you should make the change now and not wait till later. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, if I, I didn't quite understand it at the time and didn't quite understand how, I mean, to some degree, how easy it is when you're younger and just at some point things start catching up with you. It's like, okay, your, your body doesn't, doesn't recover as fast. I mean, you get little mysterious aches and pains and everything mm -hmm. like that just by, by not being active and not doing what you're supposed to do. And well, you have to make a choice at some point, but yeah, when you're younger, it's just, it's so easy. 
I mean, that's yeah. literally, it's just, okay, you say, I'm going to start to work out a little bit. And I mean, any weight you gain just kind of disappears because your body's built. <laughs> I mean, that's what, yep. that's what it is when you're young. And as you get older, it just gets harder. Mm. Yeah. So if you wait longer, it's only going to get harder. So might as well take control of it now. It's kind of what you're saying there. So next thing I want to know, Glenn, is what would you tell 2018 version of you? And actually, before we even get into that, like, what is the difference between 2018 Glenn and 2019 Glenn? Um, it was, it was making the, making a decision and committing. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's, that's it. Truly, truly deciding, okay, it's time. And let's, and what led and, you to that point? Um, like, what were you experiencing that led you to that point? Well, I mean, I'm, in, in the health arena, literally it was, I, I was thinking about, uh, trips or activities or things like that, that we wanted to do and realizing that, you know what, I really can't do those and enjoy them the way I would like to, if I can even take part in them at all. So, um, some of the hiking, some of the climbing, I mean, one of our goals is to snorkeling. take a trip up to, to, to do snorkeling stuff. We, we tried to do some of that and I'm like, boy, I'm in horrible shape. This kind of sucks. <laughs> Um, we want to take a trip to Machu Picchu and climb up there. Well, that's at elevation. Well, that sucks if you're way out of shape. So yes. to go there and really enjoy it would have to be in far better shape. So uh, things like that, realizing that, okay, if I want to go off and do them and enjoy them and, and actually take part in doing them, I need to make a change, period. And if yeah. I don't do it now, there's stuff that I will likely never be able to do again wow and that's like mind blown like and i say this a lot of the time i say like you're not actually an entrepreneur unless you have complete freedom in all areas of your life right emotionally physically and financially so it sounds like to me that you were missing that financial not financial sorry physical freedom in your health and fitness and that physical freedom is going to allow you to do the things that you want to do with the money that you're making right because a lot of times uh, people can't go on these retreats or snorkeling or whatever it is that you're talking about unless they have the money. But if they do have the money, they also need the physical part of, side of that too. So I think that's super cool. Let's go, man. Come on now. And um, that kind of leads me to my last question. So once again, a lot of people say, I'm going to focus on my health now. I'm going to focus on my finances now. And I'll, I'll focus on the other half later. And I always say that health and wealth are not mutually exclusive. There's something that should be grown together. If you could just touch on that point, that would be awesome. Like, what's your view on that? Yeah, I mean it's you can you can do them all together as long as you put together the right plan and understand what you're doing and what you're trying to achieve and and allocating the time to do it. I mean, it was it was difficult for me in the past when I would go off and try to lose weight and try to get in better shape when pretty much I'd get up in the morning and by the time I'm done with my workout at the club and everything like that, it's almost noon. I mean, it's, it's like that, that cuts out half your day to go off and try to b grow your business and deal with calls that came in and everything like that. So going off and getting on the right plan and realizing that, no, you don't have to spend two hours in the gym, three hours in the gym every day to go off and do it. You can actually, mm -hmm. you can actually derive benefits um, with shorter workouts. I mean, yes, you may not, you not, may not make huge changes as fast, but you're, changing your plan and changing changing your habits in such a way that it's something that's sustainable over time as opposed to something that yeah you'll drive great benefits over a short period of time but it's completely unsustainable in the long term and i mean mm. when you're talking about your health and wellness and everything it should be a long-term proposition so i mean it's not a three-month sprint that you're trying to lose weight and then let it all come back and, and get out of shape again it's what can you implement and put into your life whether it's your eating whether it's your um, exercising all of that type of stuff that can that can carry with you through the rest of your life and not just be a temporary thing and then jump off and do something else so i mean you want to change your life not temporarily change your life Absolutely. And, and like I say a thousand times, that's why I offer the year-long program for that exact reason. 
but it's kind of cool to think about that you bought your time back, right? Because so many people think like, oh, I need an hour to work out. And then they, they see like, oh, I got 30 minutes travel to the gym, 30 minutes back. That's two hours out of my day. It's not feasible. But what you're doing, you're only working out 15 to 25 minutes a day, five times a week. That's 75 minutes out of your 168 hour week. So you're getting results in just 75 minutes a week, which is legit pretty crazy. A lot of people wouldn't believe me if I said that, right? If you were only working out 75 minutes out of your whole entire week and you've lost 27 pounds so far. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool because you bought your time back and now not only have you lost that weight, you're also having your best financial year ever and you probably feel fucking awesome, which is cool. Yep, absolutely. And I mean, honestly, the biggest, the biggest thing that I really learned uh, when we started working together is the caloric deficit on the, on the eating part. I mean, mm -hmm. that's made more difference than the exercise part for me yep. this time around. That's just how it's been. It's, I've been super diligent on that and I've derived great benefit from that. I've derived benefit from working out, but being in the caloric deficit and just consistently, predictably, I mean, each, each week we talk, it's a pound this week, it's two pounds next week, it's a pound and a half. It's just consistently a little bit each week getting in the right direction. A hundred percent. And last question, actually, I just keep up coming up with questions here <laughs> is I hear this a lot too. I don't have time to track my calories. How long does it really take? And what would you say to that question? Uh, tracking calories, tracking calories is easy. Like you say, before you put something in your mouth, put, put it on the, on the calorie tracker, put it in the, uh, are you there? Did I lose you? Hello? Did I lose you? Oh, you got an incoming call? Uh, no, I didn't. I, I oh, saw it got okay. paused. I don't know what happened, but oh, maybe, it <laughs> uh, maybe it was you. Maybe it was my end. But, but yeah, I mean, just loading stuff into the MyFitnessPal app. I mean, that's such a good app and, and being able to scan labels and stuff if, you're, if food's got labels on it and things. So mm. it's really straightforward. I mean, it's, that's, that's as important or more important than going off and uh, getting your time in for your exercise. That's, that's Absolutely. just what I would put it as top priority, actually, but you already know I, that. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I, would, I would, too. I would, too. I mean, yeah. that made the most difference for me. Absolutely, brother. Well, hey, Glenn, dude, I appreciate you coming on. I think your results speak for itself, right? You've lost 27 pounds in four months. You're having your best financial year ever. You also had your best financial month ever in 2019. And at the end of the day, it's not a coincidence. When you take control of your health, it brings discipline back into your life, and that shows up in other areas of your life, a.k.a. your business. So once again, dude, your results don't surprise me. Like we, like we keep on hitting the hammer on the nail, it's repeatable, it's trackable, it's something that we could just freaking predict. And I cannot wait at the end of 2019 going into 2020, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be a lean, mean fighting machine. So brother, once again, appreciate you hopping on and let's go ahead and do the sign off together. Are you ready for that? Thanks, man. I can do it with one arm, yep. <laughs> let's go. Health, wealth, and prosperity, baby. Hey, <laughs> I'll talk to you soon, Glenn. Peace out, homie. Thank you again. Thanks, man. Catch you later.